Hi, this is Jeremy Bryden, and today I'll be doing a follow-up video for Dwarfcraft. Currently, we're in iteration point three, which has included a couple of neat new features that we're trying to complete so that way we could get a focus on the core gameplay aspects of the game. So right now what you see is the regular world. I've actually turned off a couple of the lighting features just to make it a little bit easier to see in a YouTube video. And we have the same features as before. You could translate, rotate, and zoom in and out. But now we also have pitch associated with it, which adds a nice little effect if you're trying to see the world in more detail. Also, you'll see that some of the models have changed. We now import 3D models rather than try to gener or generate uh, simple planar surfaces. So the mushrooms are now full 3D models versus if you look at the bush that's right next to it, it's still just two planes that are intersecting across the middle. Also, you'll notice that dwarfs actually have armor now. Not only that, but you could go ahead and define some designations. So right now, if I define a mining area of just one by one unit right next to the dwarf, he'll actually path plan to it. You can see the path that the dwarf is taking by uh, pressing the slash key and that prints out where the dwarf is gonna try to go. You also notice that, like I just wrote in the designation, it went ahead and destroyed the block. If I put another designation, the dwarf will attempt a path plan to it. And again, zooming in, you'll see how the dwarf goes ahead and breaks it over time. So that's the current state of the game. In the future, we're going to try and get more designations programmed. Uh, the performance is still pretty acceptable for what we want to aim for, though uh, we'll be working harder to get the AI a little bit more fleshed out. Thanks for watching.